In fact, earlier, you know, uh, the Kochi Metro, right, hired some transgender people. Uh, it was quite a failed experiment, I think, because they didn't realize um, just giving jobs it solves one fourth of the problem, I guess. I mean, the ground realities is quite stark. And uh, even recently, a couple of months back, Chennai Metro also, uh, you know, hired for their work. Some say it's a PR activity, you know, some say it's a good move in the, in the you know, in the right direction. So what has been your experience with government organizations? Why certain experiments fail what they can do have you have you yourself worked with government organizations any uh, institution that is pioneering an initiative for any marginalized community faces a lot of obstacles faces a lot of challenges all of that happens because maybe we're making decisions without involving people from the community in our decision making and i think precisely that's what's happened where uh, where kochi metro could have had great intentions and you know the willingness to write really make the uh, right move but the whole point perspective about trans issues are not just about getting jobs but sustaining uh, people around you accepting housing and so many other things right and i saw that in our intervention with chennai metro so periphery was one of the organizations that was involved in the whole employment intervention with the chennai metro and there were several other ngos that were also a part of it and that was handled in a much different way uh, so the metro didn't say that hey we know what we what we need to do so they came to us and they were like tell us how we can do this right and that's what really makes a difference because you you need to work with the community you need to work with organizations that work in the space so we had many interventions to actually make this uh, sustainable yeah. and obviously pr and stuff comes with it but it made a massive impact and we saw a lot more other government space is kind of opening up opportunities uh, for the community so i think it was a win win in in that case yeah trans community is always viewed with the lens of only trans women there are trans men and other gender non binary trans persons also who exist within the chennai metro we had a combination of both trans men and trans women as a part of it most of whom we've been able to retain till date we did have like about two dropouts in the overall numbers that we had uh, but i think that was that was just a normal case scenario